Hey guys, um, today we are going to do Unit 2, Lesson 4, which is um, we're about to finish up triangles and move into postulates, theorems, and vocabulary that have to do with angles, but some of it is crossover, okay? So this is our vocabulary. I know that there's a lot to write here. Starting out with our very first fact, all triangles have three angles whose sum equals 180 degrees, okay? The first thing that we need to know about triangles and angles is how to name them. So I drew a little picture over here of a triangle. The three ways to name them are by the variable on the outside, angle B, by the number on the inside, angle 1, or by using all three vertices of the triangle, except that um, angle A, B, C, whatever angle you're trying to name has to be in the middle. So you could do A, B, C, or you could do C, B, A, okay? And then we use this little symbol here, that means angle. Adjacent angles are angles that are beside each other. Right angles are 90 degrees, and we use this little box to show that. Complementary angles are two or more angles that add up to equal 90 degrees. And then we have supplementary angles, two or more angles that add up to equal 180 degrees. So one way to help you remember the difference between complementary and supplementary is kind of silly, but it works. Um, Complementary comes first in the alphabet. 90 comes first on the number line. So complementary is 90. Supplementary is 180. Okay. Then we have interior angles and exterior angles. Interior angles are on the inside of a shape. Exterior are on the outside of a shape. And then finally, we have congruent side lengths and congruent angle me uh, measures. Congruent means the same measure. And this is the symbol that we use for congruent. It is equal with a little squiggly up above it. All right. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video for just a moment if you need to and continue copying down this vocabulary. All right, at the bottom of your paper, I have um, two different drawings that we are going to go ahead and label all of these vocabulary terms on those two little drawings. And I'm going to color code. So anything that has a purple dot, one, two, three, and four, I'm going to show in purple. And the blue dots I'll show in blue so that you can find an example of each of these vocabulary terms. So let's start with our purple. Okay, naming angles, and actually I'm going to do naming angles, okay? So for this figure on the right-hand side of your paper, I am going to label each of these two angles. Now, it, I can't really just call this angle B because this might also be angle B, all right? So what I need to do is I need to be more specific. So this angle right here is going to be A, B, D. Angle A, B, D. Down here, we can call this angle D, B, C. D, B, C. Okay? Alternately, let's take a look in blue at our other figure. All right. So in this figure, because um, <clears throat> there's only a variable there, you could say angle D or you could say angle CDB. Okay. This here would be angle A, angle B, or angle D, B, C. 
this is angle C or angle DCB. Notice that whenever I use all three letters, um, all three letters, that the vertice B is in the middle. The vertice C is in the middle. The vertice D is in the middle. Okay? And that is important when you're naming angles. Alrighty. So let's continue with this figure here. Um, our second vocabulary term was adjacent angles. Okay, so these two angles are adjacent, meaning that they are side by side. Let me zoom out a little. Okay, they are adjacent because they're side by side. <clears throat> they are also complementary. because this box in the middle means that they are 90 degrees if you add them two together. So two angles that equal 90 degrees is complementary. Um, and then this is a 90 degree angle, so it is a right angle. Okay, so this is our vocabulary. One, two, three, and four, okay? All right, <clears throat> let's fill in the rest of our vocabulary. All right, angle A is outside of the triangle, so this is an exterior angle. Exterior angle. Um, and then angles D, C, and B are all interior because they are inside the triangle. Interior angles. C, D, and B all are interior angles. And then finally, um, I have this right here, B and A. Angle A and angle B are supplementary. I think I'm going to run out of space. Because they add up to 180 degrees. And I know that they're going to add to 180 degrees because together they form a straight line. Okay, a straight line is 180 degrees. All right. So that is all of our vocabulary. Again, if you need to pause the video for just a minute to continue labeling your points, you may do that. I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the back side of our notes and we've got six examples to complete and then we'll be done with today's lesson. Let me zoom in. Okay, so example number one. We're going to do two things here. We are going to list each of the angles and then we're going to find the value of the missing angle. Okay? So let's start with angle E. Angle E. You could call this angle E. Or you could call it G-E-O. Or finally, you could call this angle O. E G O E G. So you could go forwards or backwards. All right, 
let's do another angle. So I did E in purple. Let's do G in blue. So angle G or angle E, G, O. Or finally, you could do angle O, G, E, do it backwards. Alrighty, and then we've got angle O here. So you could call this angle O. You could call it angle E, O, G. Or you could call it angle G, O, E. So we have labeled each of our three angles in all the different possible ways that we can. Now let me switch over to green. We're going to find the value of this missing angle right here. So here's how we do that. We know that the sum of all three measures of the right or of any triangle equal 180 degrees. So 73 plus 62 plus X equals 180. Well, let's see. Um, this is going to be 135. So let's subtract 135 from both sides. And I get 45. So angle X is 45 degrees. Okay, great job. Let's take a look at example two. Label the angles and find the value of the missing angle, okay? Well, in this case, we don't have vertices that are labeled. Um, and so that's interesting, right? So we could just say angle one, two, and three. Okay, you could say that. Oops, I shouldn't have used green. One, two, and three. Okay, so this would be angle two. This would be angle one. And this would be angle three. And because they didn't really give me vertices, there's no better way for me to label those. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the value of the missing angle right here okay again so i know that all the measures of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so 28 plus this angle measure is 90 degrees so when you see that little box you need to know that's 90 plus x equals 180 so this together equals 118. So let's subtract that. Let's see, 62. So X equals 62 degrees, if I did that right, okay? All right, so that is naming angles and finding the third angle if it's missing. Let's now use some different vocabulary. <coughs> we need to find the value of angle A. Find the value of angle A. So I need to use my vocabulary, A, B here, they add up to equal 180 degrees. These are supplementary. So if I'm going to set this up, I know that angle A plus angle 
B equals 180 degrees. I know the angle B is 86. So angle A plus 86 degrees. So now let's subtract the 86 from both sides. And I find that the measure of angle A is equal to 94 degrees, 94 degrees. Okay, let's do another one that's really similar to that. Really similar. Example four, find the value of angle D. Well, this is a 90 degree angle right here. And so if I have two angle measures that together equal 90, it means that they are complementary. So I will say angle C plus angle D equals 90 degrees. And let me move this out of the way. Okay. Angle C plus angle D equals 90 degrees. C is 34. So let's subtract 34. Okay, so angle D is going to equal, let's see, 56 degrees, 56. All right, so that is the difference between complementary and supplementary. One equals 90 and the other equals 180. All righty. Let's take a look at example five. Example five. This says find the missing angle measures. Well, I have two angles that I need to solve for, okay? So first thing I need to do is solve for D. So let me do D in blue, okay? So I have a triangle. And I know that these three angles need to add up to equal 180. So 36 plus 79 plus D equals 180. So let's see. Um, 115, I think. Double check my math. <clears throat> um, so minus 115. And I get angle D should equal, let's see, 65 degrees. Angle D should equal 65 degrees. 180 minus 115. And let me find angle A and green. Okay, I'm going to do green. So down here, these two angles form a straight line. So these are supplementary, which means they equal 180 degrees. Okay, so 79 plus angle A is 180. So let's subtract the 79 degrees. Angle A equals 101 degrees. So I found two angle measures from the same figure um, using different uh, vocabulary and theorems. So this one equaled 180 because the three measures of any triangle equal 180 degrees. And this one equaled 180 because I had two supplementary angles. All right. And then here's our last example for today. All right. So I have 
these two angles and they form this straight line, which means that they are going to equal 180, okay? They are supplementary, so they equal 180. Um, and I just use this little circle to kind of show that. So instead of just having a single number value or angle measure, they are um, their expressions, okay, with a missing variable. So we're going to solve for x first. So let's do that. Step one, solve for x. Okay, so three parentheses, and I can zoom in a little if I need to. Um, 3x plus 1 plus, because I'm adding these two angles together, plus this angle, um, 8x plus 7 equals 180, okay? Now let's just solve this like a regular equation. So do your distributive property. 9x plus 3 plus 8x plus 7 equals 180. Let's add our like terms. 9x and 8x is 17x. 3 plus 7 is 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. And then divide by 17. So my x equals 10. So that's step one. Let me switch colors and go to step two. Step two. I need to plug the value of x into each angle. And then simplify. Okay, so I have x equals 10 right here. So let's write these down. Three parentheses, three x plus one. And the other angle is eight x plus seven. So what I'm going to do is plug in 10 for both of these x's. All right, and so I'm going to do my substitution in red. Okay, and now I'm ready to simplify. All right, so 3 times 10 is 30, and 30 plus 1 is 31. And then 3 times 31 is 93. Next, I have 8 times 10 is 80, plus 7 is 87. So I found my two angle measures. This is 93 degrees over here, and this is 87 degrees over here. And if you want to double check that you've done your math and your algebra correctly, when you add these two together, 93 plus 87, that equals 180 degrees. Okay, so you can check it. All right, so let me zoom out a tad bit. So this is our last example for today. All righty. Um, there is a practice assignment posted for you. 
we are going to start having to incorporate some more algebra back into what we're doing, which is fantastic. I think that we'll all do well at this. All right, guys. Until next time.